everybody, and welcome to Coast Cast number 11. We have a very, very special guest in the room today. We have Madge the dog. Hey. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and we have the brilliant lads from Puerto Boats. How are we doing, boys? Not bad. Good, good, good. good, good. So basically, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to speak to you just about what you've been doing lately and um, if you've got anything exciting coming up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this Saturday we've got a uh, support game for Craig Redpath. I know he's one of yours. Um, yeah. There's five total acts on the bill, I think. Yeah, that's um, right. So it should be a good long night of good music. Uh, it's at Anarchy Brewery, uh-huh. which we've never played at, but we're looking forward to be playing at. Oh, I was down there today. It's really, really good. Yeah, the venue's great, like, really good. The, set, the set the amazing. I haven't, no, I haven't. I'm, well, I'm not drinking at the minute, no. but it wasn't open when we went down. We just went down and have a look and uh. s- scope the place out. So, um, yeah, um, I think Craig excited would spot that on the last part. I think it's probably probably actually come yeah, so out, walking co- out. Come out, come out afterwards. Yeah. Um, All right, so, so, how was your gig? So, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so well done. The oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, <laughs> I hear it went great. Of that. <laughs> awful. I was out of tune the whole time. Hey, touch I'm, I'm, I'm sure you won't be, but obviously, we're going to hear some music from you guys in a little while. So aside from Craig's gig, have you got much coming up after that? Uh, yeah, we've got two next weekend. We're supporting Daisies, uh, who are another mm-hmm. friend of Alfie and Finn's. Yeah. Um, that's at Head of Steam, which we've also never played at before. That should be good. Uh-huh. Looking forward to that. And then the, the Bridge after Hotel or something. Yeah, after that, the Bridge Hotel. Uh, supporting a band called The Agency. Okay, oh, so nice. um, opposite the castle ke- uh, by the castle keep is it that one? No, yeah, it is. Yeah, so it's a high level bridge. You're yeah. you're playing two like quite um, prestigious and mainstay venues in Newcastle. Yeah, yeah so Head of Steam's been doing gigs for like. Yes, Madge, are you crying? Just What's wrong? I'm crying. I'm so sorry. It's not that bad at the head of steam. She's like, you've already done one. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> wrap it up. But um, yeah, man. So are they all full band gigs? They are, yeah. The Daisy's ones are this feeling gig, isn't it? Like that's a yeah. Pro- like they're a proper, like really, really good national um, promoter, and they do loads of stuff all over the place. Um, used to have their own TV show and stuff, which was on um, on one of the uh, I think it was on one of like the Channel Four channels at one point. Like, but um, yeah, that's like it's a proper good yeah. gig for you that one. Like, We've so. had a couple of opportunities by them a couple of times before this one, but they've mm-hmm. both fallen through because. Uh, just like weren't free on the days or that sort yeah. of thing, but I'm glad we finally finally got one because they're a good service to be a part of. Lush, yeah. lush. So uh, as a band, how did you guys meet and how did you start? Because uh, you've been gigging for a little while now, haven't you? College Two and a half years, yeah. Met in college. Uh-huh. Well, the four of us, me, Dexter, Charlie and Jack met in college, uh-huh. Gateshead College, and then Nathan, the bassist, went to school with Jack and Charlie. Oh, right, nice one. Well, he wasn't a bassist, he just played guitar and we yeah. didn't know anybody else. So, <laughs> moved in. so I remember when we had the Archers upstairs, me and Chris, we used to have another music venue, if you didn't know, called the Archers, which used to be upstairs from Alfie and Finch. I'm here, you guys came to play our, yeah. was it our first night? First night. First week, yeah. First week, first week definitely. First I think week, um, that was without Nathan. That yeah. was before Nathan joined. Because I think uh, Kieran Bowe and stuff were on the day before, and I remember That's looking right. at all the posters yeah. and that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, that was a good for a first gig. Yeah. And I like those acoustic was it ones. First, was it your first gig, was it? That, that was, was our first gig, gig. Was yeah. it really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. So, yeah. And then the well, second gig yeah. was uh, when we supported Tom Hingley. That was the second oh, gig. Right. So the first yeah. two gigs were upstairs. Oh, <laughs> quality. I didn't realise that. Yeah. But you've got like quite a, um, a dedicated fan base, don't you? Uh, with the parents. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I'm going to say. Yeah, that quality. Like I've, I've had some good chats with her. Um, you're Vanessa, your mum, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I've had some good chats um, <laughs> with her about Peter Boats and stuff. And yeah, so I mean, you're doing, you're doing pretty well. You've got some um, good gigs um, coming up and that. But you also you played our festival, didn't you? you played Coast we did, Fest. yeah. How, how was that for you? It was good. Um, Different playing a big stage. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, smaller sort of pub venues. Sort yeah. Of. It's kind of like a. Um, I don't know, like it's like, it's like almost like a bit of a level up, but it's like it's quite daunting as well because yeah, pe- on, on f- especially on festivals, people aren't there like sp- may not be there specifically to see you. But I felt that watching is like you scored really, really well with that. Mm. Um, I thought you put a really, really good performance in. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like I say, it's like what like what what's like the difference you play to people who you might not know at a festival who have come from maybe other people trying to get those people converted into Peter Boats fans. Yeah, I, I don't think they know what they're expecting because, yeah. um, like, we, like we don't dress like a <laughs> sort of, you know. We all have different sort of influences. Yeah. We all look different. We mm. all have different sort. 
Yeah, yeah so I, 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 I don't know what people are expecting when they when they like take a look at where uh-huh. and then we like play with first chords and that uh-huh. and then uh, you know based off that they, they stay or they don't. Uh, Hopefully they stay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spot on, spot on. So um, obviously, have you got any other festivals or anything coming up? Um, or are you not far in that far into the booking process? Yeah. We not getting this far. Played oh, this oh far yeah, last I, month. I missed you guys. I was there yeah. on the. I went on Friday, didn't I? Yeah, yeah it was a Friday, but it was Friday at uh, well, ten, twelve o'clock. Uh, what what fi- stage did you play? Sure, Viking, oh, Viking Brew House, yeah. nice. So we're the first, we're the first on at that stage. Um, well, the first on the whole day, and uh, it, it was actually really good. There was much more people than I thought there was going to be. Um, like it was a big tent, and it was all compact. But I think that that sort of worked in my favour because uh, you know people were moving closer and closer. People seemed to be enjoying it. Um, uh, yeah, it you really know, good fun. It's always great when, like, when you're on a stage, you like, see the people coming closer and closer, yeah. and like standing up and en- mm. and, and, and enjoying what you are playing. Because there's you know? loads yeah. of people that go to Lindisfarne who only go for like the daytime. Like, obviously you yeah. stay over, but lots of people end up going back to their caravans and their tents by like mm. eight o'clock. So it's always like a different mixture yeah. of people in yeah. the daytime yeah. it's never act like empty what you would yeah. you know expect being on first because it's a bit yeah. scary isn't well, it being well, the first everyone, one everyone's there. sober at noon yeah <laughs> that's true <laughs> yeah. 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 well some people oh yeah there was, there, was a, there, was a, there was a couple here and there who were like having a good time we should say <laughs> but I'm glad we were a part of that <laughs> nice one. Um, have you got any music um, in the pipeline to be released because I know you've released a, you've released a few bits and pops yeah before, haven't you? at least three singles and, and an EP oh, um, got nothing yes because we don't know we don't know what kind of style of song we're going to go through because we've, mm-hmm. we've released three like sort of energetic type ones and we thought uh we want to release a sort of chill one uh-huh. for next time but uh, we're gonna enough. have to write yeah we're gonna have to write one first <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of um, it's kind of shown another side of the band isn't it yeah when you do that, yeah. yeah just showing up like a one-trick pony yeah yeah that's it man that's it so um i'm looking forward to here oh he has the lads now in you come, boys, on the door. <laughs> <laughs> fashionably yeah. late. Yeah, they come fashionably late. That's an hour. But it's good that there's, fo- that there's um, four of you here, because obviously we're going to hear some of your music on our stage yeah. soon. So, in you get, boys. Ah, don't worry about <laughs> it, man. Don't worry right. about it. You're live. <laughs> That. Like magic, we have two more members of Beautiful Boys in the room, and Chris has been sacked. And he's <laughs> over there dog he's sitting. Dog this is on dog sitting duties. I think because there's a four of you here now, it might be an idea just to go around to you guys and just um, you can give us your names and how you got into music and stuff yeah. and things like that. So, yeah, we'll start here. Well, I'm Ben. I'm nice to meet you, Ben. Of Paper Boats. I'm saying nice to meet you. I've met you loads of times <laughs> before, but here we are. <laughs> Not officially on the podcast, but yeah. I, got, I play the drums in Paper Boats, who these are a part of as well. Lush. And I got into music um, about 13 years ago. Uh-huh. My next door neighbour played the drums and I used to watch them. Uh-huh. And I, I got my own drum kit eventually. I bet your family were thrilled about <laughs> that. I have had council complaints, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, sanctions, and threatens. And, uh, but you know, we're here. I don't really play drums at home anymore, which is what can you do, but I got into music through him and I got into loads of different music, like Springsteen through my dad, Foo Fighters through my mum, Noel Gallagher, I can't remember how, but loads of different people. And I play guitar now as well. Um, Man of many talents. uh, That was because of my uncle. He said he'd give us a guitar if I learned it. I I had the same kind of scenario. I got given a guitar um, by my uncle as well, and he said, "Look, I'm going to give you this guitar, but you got promises you're going to learn it." <laughs> and like 25 years on, and I'm still not very good at it. Like, <laughs> I don't even it's know the what age-old like story is. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> so um, yeah, we'll move. We'll move around. We'll go across to this side. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm the keys player, and uh, I got into music just because, like, my dad always had music on, uh, like CDs and stuff like. Well, it's mainly just sort of classic rock like Queen and uh, what's the other one? Led Zeppelin? No, I didn't actually listen Beatles. to Beatles. 
That's the one, Beatles. Um, How do you forget the what's Beatles? What's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> that's the other one. Oh, just the Beatles. What's another five? It's four um, guys. I can't remember their names. <laughs> I well, it was it was that kind of stuff, but it was also like sort of the Killers and Oasis as well. So gone into like that kind of stuff as well, like from an early age. Um, and then like a few years later, eventually I'd got uh, this like keyboard for Christmas. I just started tinkering around with it, playing stuff like, uh. like the Harry Potter theme or whatever. <laughs> and I uh, just taught myself loads of songs on YouTube. And then eventually it came the time in, uh, in secondary school, I was putting, like, I, well, this, this was actually after I'd done my G, they picked my GCSEs and everything. But uh, it was just a, like a, a last second decision in year 11 to do music at college. So I've obviously learned all these songs on YouTube. I uh-huh. wanted to do uh, this, this course at college, and I find out I, I know nothing. <laughs> about like the, the-, the theoretical side of music yeah. so then I literally went away for about like a week for like me setting like sort of college interview uh, to get on the course I'd, I'd learn like all the skills and everything <laughs> well, yeah. I uh, just proper picked everything up like really fast and now I'm like better so <laughs> was that a Gateshead college because I ah, think yeah. Dex said earlier yeah. on that you's all met at Gateshead yeah, college yeah. Yeah. yeah nice one have they got a good setup over there at Gateshead college for the music stuff yeah. I'd say so they've good, got a uh, good support good tutors uh, I mean, we wouldn't have met without it. So, yeah. <laughs> there, there we are. Proof, proof is in the pudding, as I say. And then we've got Dex here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've already spoke to Dex, but um, you can tell us about how you got into music and stuff and how yeah. you've ended up in Peter Buds as well. I didn't start in this genre by any means. I, uh, I first got into music when I was about 12. I was doing like little techno beats on my computer. All oh, right, all right. Cause I saw a video of Avicii on YouTube going to FL <laughs> Studio. I thought, oh, I want to do this. I want to try this, see see where it takes us. Mm-hmm. So, like, for a few years, just as a hobby, I was making, like, little house songs, little trap beats, electronic stuff. <laughs> um, I've heard all these, by the way. <laughs> yeah. oh, the bit Any good? Bit. Terrible. Aren't they? Oh, the mint. Oh, so good. Yeah, so good. <laughs> <laughs> you got to uh, say that. <laughs> tutorial background music type stuff. Uh-huh. Um, and then, so I did music at GCSE. Um, uh, when I was, like, 14, 15, um, few people in my class were starting to learn guitar and I, I got a bit jealous I was like oh well, I'm not being the only one who's not learning guitar uh-huh. and I'll learn it faster than you lot and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a competition um, so luckily we had a guitar in the attic upstairs um, and I just asked my parents if we get down it was probably like a 20 year old guitar it's uh-huh. broken now um, and I just taught myself you know Sweet Home Alabama and that <laughs> just, just, just as a hobby and like it was mainly sort of put like guitar sounds into me in my compositions uh, just as a sort of like interesting feature to them but it just grew and grew I started listening to like loads of guitar music because I didn't really I didn't really listen to this type of music until I started learning guitar mm-hmm. and um, it just grew and grew from there and eventually after listening to like loads of sort of Oasis no Gallagher Foo Fighters and I was like yeah this is the type of stuff I want to do good stuff Charlie? Hello, I'm Charlie. I'm the lead singer. <laughs> uh, the main man. <laughs> <laughs> sure wouldn't call me sure that. Sure like the would that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'm the lead singer and uh, I suppose rhythm guitarist. Mm-hmm. Um, I got into mu- I've been playing music all my life. I, I played. Uh, I started playing violin when I was about five, six year old. Crap, total crap. <laughs> <laughs> played it for ten years, and. Suppose humbled us <laughs> realized like the same situation as Jack realized I knew not- nothing, <laughs> um, and I accidentally actually got signed up for piano lessons when I during secondary school, mm-hmm. and I just stuck with it, uh, and that's sort of how I got my hand into into playing music. Um, when I was a teen, I, I studied at the Sage on the oh. on a Sunday, mm-hmm. done vocal classes there, um, and sort of so. To little people's knowledge, piano is actually my main instrument. Uh-huh. Uh, piano and singing. Uh, and again, like like Dexter and Jack got a got a sp- spare guitar and just started playing it because most of my favourite musicians, Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen, uh, stuff like that, people like that, playing guitar. You know what I mean? And it made it easier for me to to copy them songs and, yeah. and cover the songs really. So picked it up that way. Um, singing most of me most of me life though good stuff so out of you all who's like the songwriter or is it a collaborative effort or so i 
I write about half, Charlie writes about half. And but I would say it's still a collaborative effort. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, the, the bare bones of the songs, uh, I would rightly say that me and you probably go half, halfy half on that. But like sort of the body of it was a collaborative effort off of all of it, including Nathan, who wasn't here today. Um, so do you two good. do you two like come in with the ideas and then everyone gets together and you all have a bit crack with each other and then it yeah, develops it's a from there. Approach, um, like I I can usually make like a full fledged demo of what the whole song's gonna sound like mm -hmm. and then I sort of send it over to them and then they get the grips with it and then we'll play it a couple of times in practice and then uh, after that we we'll just build up, play it over and over again and then. Each time I play it, something new has been added, something new has improved it, and then it just blossoms into a finished product. Mm. Um, and then other songs, it's just like lyrics and lyrics and chords, and then we all just like uh, mm. put our thing. Yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nice one, man. I mean, we've heard quite a lot about Peter Boats and obviously your backgrounds and stuff, and now it's time to talk about us. But because there's four of you, we need your help. Okay, so. We discussed in the last pod um, that on our Friday night, which is more of our dance event, which <laughs> you're quite well versed at, <laughs> just, yeah, by, just by your background. Give him a little spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should come and do a little techno be, be the opener. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so on the Friday night, we're going to do like kind of like a carnival style event where it's we're going to do fancy dress and stuff like that. I'm going to really make it like into more of like a party rather than a festival. So we need some ideas. Right, so mm -hmm. I thought we're going to come round to you guys and we're going to ask you what you think our fancy dress theme should be on the Friday night. I'm prepared for this. Well, yeah. Oh, we're not prepared for it either, so I wouldn't That's why we need uh, help. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think a 60s Woodstock style hippie style. Oh, <laughs> oh really nice. Good yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll Especially for music. We'll put with all the bright colours right, and the flares yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Jerry Garcia and peace signs and stuff like <laughs> <Yeah>. that. Beautiful <laughs> dead buddies. Uh, that's what I'd say anyways. I like that one. Yeah. I like that. Dex <laughs> is <laughs> deep in thought. I'll think of something. <laughs> <laughs> well, we put it to our, um, the Coast Fest community news group, which has been a great help. We've had all sorts of stuff like pirates and dinosaur themes and stuff like that. I love the comment section on some of the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's people's imaginations just running wild. <laughs> so, um, I reckon like... 90s. 90s, nah. yeah. I mean, that's kind of. Nah. <laughs> why? I'm a 90s why baby, not, John. Nah. Why? why not, John? I, I, nah. I can hear the twist coming from John. It's not very. You know, the outfits don't give you much. Uh, Excuse me. Spice sculpt, Girls. Do they? Spice Girls. Oh, I can see you wearing a Spice Girls. Yeah, you see me. <laughs> Full light grass. Scouse Sporty Spice. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Scouse or Spice. Yeah. I yeah. Scouse or Spice. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, something else. Team. What's that? <laughs> Scouse team, yeah. <laughs> 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 Everyone, Everyone in Scouse wigs and uh, uh, tracksuits. Um, Adidas tracksuits. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shell suits. Shell <laughs> suits. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> right, well, yeah. lads, you're going to put as much help as a chocolate fire oh, guard on that yeah. one, mate. Right? But um, we're going to hear some music from you. Wait, I Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Do you know what you're going to be playing? Uh, Marta. Well, that yeah, was one, one of your of first singles. That was one of your. Was that your first single? Yeah, it uh, did was. quite well, that didn't it? Yeah, I remember yeah. enjoying that one. We played. We played it at our first gig here, am I right? And no, that? I didn't. no, no, we hadn't. We hadn't fully developed it by then. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we did yellow song. by Coldplay. Oh, we did. <laughs> 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 oh, how we've changed since then. Oh, we did a full <laughs> podcast about Coldplay. Chris yeah. would have liked that. <laughs> hey, Chris over there in the corner. <laughs> 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 I'm we just you, rinsed I'm about Coldplay. Because we, uh, well, I didn't think we'd be talking about Coldplay today because Chris tends to try and drop <laughs> it in. But the years have just taken his place perfectly by talking wow. about Coldplay. I so. absolutely love Coldplay. For one. <laughs> and I have the other band uh, members for one. So. Oh, I, love them. I love them. I'll never admit it. But I love them. <laughs> <laughs> you just have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on, out. On TV. <laughs> 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 no, to, to be fair, I think I might have spoken about this on another pod. Like, I, I only take the piss out of um, Chris by saying Coldplay are rubbish and all that, but I want to see him at the stadium. Like, I think we've already yeah. talked about this. Yeah, we had a full it, pod right, about Coldplay. When it, when, it, when, it, when it absolutely chucked us down, and that yeah. was meant that. But anyway, yeah. Wait, Looking forward to hearing your tune. Nice one. Let's get the tunes on. Hello, everybody. We're Paper Boats, and uh, this is Marta.
Right, yo, thank you very much, boys. That was that absolutely was class. Fantastic. Well done, well done, boys. 
Right, uh, we normally end the podcast with two questions, the first of which is what have you got coming up, but we did talk to you guys earlier on about um, you two about what you've got coming up in the future, so we'll skip that one and move to the last question, which is can you describe your experience of Coast Fest 2023 in three words? Better than Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, boys. Thank you very much for coming along and chatting to us. Thank you very much for playing. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Nice one. You just said cut. No one else gets to speak that way. I thought you were all going to get three. Oh, he's all in the chat. Yeah. All in the chat. I thought you. It's just got a bell. It's just got a bell. It's just got a bell. I don't know. Do you know what? Have you got. Oh, I was just going to say some bullshit. Oh, that's a human. Oh, she's fine.